Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Where are you coming in from? Where are you joining in from? Let me know. Amen, everybody. <clears throat> Go ahead and share. Invite others. Good morning, Brooklyn. Good morning, Pittsburgh. Hey, Kevo Shia. Good morning, Fort Worth, Texas. Good morning, Eden, North Carolina. Good morning, Atlanta. Oh, come on, it's time to praise the Lord this morning. Oh, yes. Good morning. Good morning, Austin, Texas. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and invite. Oh, yes. Yes. Good morning, Texas. Ooh. We lift them high, yes. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Stockton, California. Good morning. Yes, Holy Ghost Party. Yes, lift them up. Woo. Lift them up. Keep lifting them up in spite of. In spite of. Keep lifting God up. Kingdom. Good morning, United Kingdom, Birmingham. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Arkansas. Good morning all around the world. We send kisses and hugs all around the world. And we say today, lift them up higher. Lift them higher than your circumstance. Lift them higher than the problem. I promise you, if you lift them up, here draw. Come on. Good morning, California. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you coming in from? Good morning. We're about to start. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to invite. <laughs> From Toronto. Good morning. Good morning. Toronto, Canada. Good morning. It's time to lift them up. Dry your eyes. You cried enough over that. It's time to lift them up this morning. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the kaboom. She under the bullshit. Woo! Glory to his wonderful name. You got to praise him in spite of. You got to bless him in spite of. He's still God. Come on. We got a few more seconds. Then we're going into the teaching. And then we're going to pray. Yes. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To all the states, California, good morning, Texas, good morning, Mississippi, good morning, Alabama, good morning, Florida, good morning, New York, good morning, Massachusetts, good morning, good morning, Ohio, good morning, Indiana, good morning, Illinois, good morning, Iowa, 
Good morning, North and South Dakota. Good morning. Glory to God. Hey, I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning. Oregon, good morning. All around the world, good morning to the nations. Good morning, Bahamas. Good morning, London. Good morning, everybody. It's time to lift them up. That's why I'm playing this this morning. It's time for you to lift up, lift them up higher. Who is him? Lift God up higher. Lift Jesus up higher. Above your circumstance. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Louisiana. Good morning. Good morning, Arizona. Good morning, Michigan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. North Carolina, South Carolina. Good morning. Good morning, Virginia. Good morning. Woo. Good morning, Boston, Maryland. Good morning. Yes, Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Washington. Good morning. All around the world. Good morning. Into the foreign lands. Good morning, China. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Lift him up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Pennsylvania. I see you. Good morning. West Palm Beach, Florida. I see you. Good morning. Yes. Good morning to everybody. You might as well smile. Woo. Lift them higher. Yes. Yes. God is doing some awesome things. If you lift them higher, lift that wonderful name, lift them higher, you'll start seeing some changes. It's already changed. Woo. Good morning, Miami. One of my daughters said, don't forget to sow your seed. Larissa Morgan said, don't forget to sow your seed. They're not playing. They, they're receiving what God is releasing. And if you're receiving, because you see God is moving, don't forget to release. Keep that hand open. That's how that goes. That's how that goes. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to lift him up. Amen. He is worthy of all the praise, the glory, and the honor. Good morning to everybody around the world. We thank God for you, 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 and you. This is such a beautiful day, for this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. What, Apostle, you don't know what I faced over the weekend. Apostle, you don't know what I've been facing before. Glory to God, uh, Wednesday. But I'm telling you, beloved, let's bless his name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us lift his name up higher, amen, because God is on your side and God is working everything out for you. He's working it in your favor. You know what scripture says, and we know that all things work together for, for the good of them that love the Lord and what is called according to his purpose or to his plan. So guess what? You've been called according to the plan of God and though your circumstance or maybe situation, the problem or the storm may be there, but it's not going to stay long. I got a word for somebody. Well, guess what? Good morning all around the world. This is your morning weather forecast in the rim of the spirit. And I am your weather forecast announcer, Apostle Vanessa Jackson. And again, we send kisses, loves, and hugs all around the world. And I do not take it for granted. I'm so honored and humbled that you have joined in with me this morning at 6 a.m. for your weather forecast on a Wednesday morning to see what the Lord is saying. To all those, what is the word weather forecast? I said it last Wednesday. I'm going to say it again. The weather forecast means this. To tell of one's atmosphere. That was good right there. To tell of one's atmosphere for a given location. 
Now, whatever atmosphere the enemy is trying to conjure up, that's not the atmosphere of the Lord. So the Lord has me to come on every Wednesday at 6 a.m. until he releases it off of me. But until then, I'm going to be right here. He has given me your atmosphere. Your atmosphere is not what the enemy is trying to do. The, your atmosphere is not even what you're trying to do. Your atmosphere is not what people are trying to do against you. But your atmosphere atmosphere is what God is doing. God is not trying to do anything. God is doing. Are you hearing me? He's not trying to do anything. God is doing, or let us say it like this, God has done it. So, uh, a weather forecast is one who tells of the atmosphere, watch this, for a given location. So, I'm not coming to talk about the location of the negativity, because that's not where you're at. Are you hearing me? Your spirit is in a whole different location, and that is what we are talking about this morning, and that's why God gave me the name Weather Forecast. Amen. Our 6 a.m. Weather Forecast, because He's given us the atmosphere of one's location, and guess what? Your weather forecast in the spirit calls for today, watch this, your momentum of your life, ministry, marriage, children, employment, your business, whatever the case may be, positive, watch this, your momentum of your, you fill in that blank, has gained speed, and I want to know Will you be able to handle it? Will you be able to handle the momentum of the speed that God is about to give unto you? Are you hearing me? He is about to cause the momentum in your life to speed up up. Are you hearing me? It is about to, my God, gain speed. Anybody knows, anybody ever rode any type of train, whether it's Amtrak or the subway of a city, you realize that when you get on the train, or even Dallas, and I believe Atlanta has it too, they have trains uh, at their airport. But however, when you get on a train, the train don't just start off fast. It starts off slow. But yet, when it gets to a certain place, the momentum of the train must, they call Boshanda, speed up. And so I heard the Holy Ghost said, in order for that to happen, I must shift and switch them to another rail. So you start off in a certain rail. Are you hearing me? But when you get to a certain speed, you have to shift to another rail. You cannot stay on the same rail, glory to God, trying to, hallelujah, gain speed. The momentum will not work because you don't have a long duration. You don't have an extended on that type of track for it to go fast. So they must shift the tracks and put you on another track because it's time now that the momentum of your, watch this, your promises, your blessing, salvation, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, begin to gain speed. Somebody should be, my God, praising God this morning. Why? Because it's in the word, precious, and I'm going to show you. You know and realize that every time before we pray, we have to pray upon the word of God. My God, this is what Jesus said to Peter, upon this rock, upon this revelation. I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Upon this rock, upon this revelation, upon this word. So in other words, the word is momentum. That word momentum is going to gain speed. Now what momentum are we talking about? We are talking about the location of your atmosphere is about to gain speed. Your life, your ministry, your business, glory to God, your children coming back together, unity, love, peace, oneness, one accord. Are you hearing me? Prosperity. Are you hearing me? Salvation to souls. Are you hearing me? It is already causing a momentum in your atmosphere. You need to posture yourself because I told you when I opened up my mouth and started that a train cannot gain speed on the same track. It must shift. That 
was good. It must shift. So in other words, you need to stop looking at the circumstance because that's one track. The enemy brought that in and trying to cause your life to be on that track. But the Lord said, I am the Lord said, I'm getting ready to cause momentum to speed in somebody's life, which means I have to what? Shift tracks. And you have to realize, I don't know how many tracks he's going to shift because you first of all in order to have momentum you already have to be in motion you cannot be standing still beloved you cannot just stand there and mama and complain you cannot just stand there and just begin to just sob all the time I said like this let the tears fall baby but whatever's coming out your mouth it must be faith because yes you're in this fleshly shell but my God you don't operate from this fleshly shell and though this fleshly shell is being attacked and you may feel it you don't respond from your mouth watch this how the shell which is your flesh is being attacked that was good but momentum in your life has already gained speed that's why God said I want you to play this song because they need to lift me up they need to praise me because I've already shifted tracks and they're on a whole different dimension in God and I have now caused their motion to begin to gain speed and my question to all of us this morning is can you handle it can you handle the momentum of what God is doing in your life? Can you handle it when it starts unfolding like a flower? Can you handle the momentum? And I know some of you are saying, yes, apostle, yes, 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 yes. Hold on now, because see, right now you're not doing a lot. Right now, a lot of stuff has not come to your hand for you to be about doing the work. Are you hear me? But God is about to allow things to come to your hand. And it's not just stuff. But my God, assignments and, and people and your family and more things are going to be added to you because he is about to call some things to come to your life. And I want to know, will you be able to handle the momentum? I didn't say the blessing. I didn't say the promise. I didn't say the breakthrough. I didn't say the deliverance. Can you handle that? I said, can you handle the momentum? Are you hearing me? Because anybody knows that a first time driver cannot get on the highway and start trying to drive 60, 65, 70, let alone 90. Why? Because they're going to crash. Are you hearing me? So therefore, I'm going to ask you the question again. Can you handle the momentum? Uh, whoo, glory to God. Can your mind handle the momentum? Watch this. Can your physical body handle the momentum? Because you have to realize, and I got to get to this word. You have to realize that while we are going through our process, while we are going through different situations to get us into that place with God, to get that oil because he crushed us so the oil can be able to flow so deliverance and healing and breakthrough can come to somebody else as well as yourself are you hearing me you have to understand though glory to god you're going through different things you're not really moving fast you, you, you might be sleeping a little longer you might be sitting down reading your word more you understand what i'm saying you might be you know in your house more because god has not given you an assignment and he has not speeded up the momentum of it are you hearing me my god for Zion, think about it think beloved think about it don't just don't just flop up at the mouth yes apostle i'll be able to handle no say god help me because you don't know how much god what my god mm, how much God will have need of you. He may need you to go over here, over here, over here, over here. He may need you to get up and pray when you want to sleep. He may get, want you to get up and study the word of God. He may want you to glory to God to just go down to the grocery store and you don't even need no eggs. But there's somebody down there. In other words, you're getting ready to start being more in motion. You Because the assignment, the blessing, the healing, the deliverance has come. But you think it came just for you. No, it came for somebody else. You just happen to be the character of it for your own self but reality is it goes to someone else first so I'm going to ask you the question again and then I'm moving on can you handle the momentum I say of the gaining of the speed of your life now watch this 
momentum momentum watch this watch momentum momentum is a force power strength is called thrust T H R U S T momentum is speed forced gain by motion so if you're not moving for God even though you're going through at this time everything is not it don't look like it's don't look like it's working in your favor then you won't have this momentum then I'm not talking to you but only to those that are still moving forward you remember the woman where they got that son amen fell sick and then died well she got in that she got on them donkeys and she got in that car in that wagon and she told that servant do not stop for nobody are you hearing me but she had to be in motion she said go forward you got to keep going forward but I don't have everything apostle but don't just sit still don't just sit there are you hearing me you still have to move forward in the things of God you still got to get up and take care of your kids you still got to get up and take care of that spouse are you hearing me you still must get up and go to work you still must get up and praise God you still must get up and begin to pray you still must get up and begin to praise God you still must get up and go out and witness. You still must get up and go to church. How about that? Glory to God. With all the tears, with all the pain, with all the hurt, you still have to be in motion. Why? Because God said only those that is in motion, those that are going forward, gets the momentum of the gain of speed in their life. So watch this. Uh, force a gain by motion. Or by a series of events, the increase in rate, in the rate of. This is a noun, and we realize momentum, the word momentum, is a physics word. It's in the math. <laughs> It's in the math equation. Are you hearing me? So the word momentum is a physics word. It's in the math <laughs> location. Watch this. Momentum is commonly used. Uh-huh. In the term of sports, momentum is commonly used in the term in sports. Listen at this, beloved. A person, a family, marriage, ministries, and our, and, and our teams. What is our teams? Our ministry teams. What is our teams? Our, our, our spouses. What is our team? Our family. Are you hearing me? What is our team? On our jobs. Are you hearing me? So listen, beloved. A person, a family, a marriage, a ministry, or a team that has a lot of momentum is really on the move. And it is going to be hard to stop one that has momentum. So what am I saying? It will really be hard, though it look like to you, you're about to stop. Though it look like to you, you're about to throw in a towel. It is going to be hard to stop someone that is already has motion in their life and has momentum. It's hard to stop you, beloved. I know the enemy trying to play tricks on you. I know people trying to play tricks on you. And uh-oh, you may be trying to play tricks on you. But it's hard to stop someone that is already in motion and God is already causing momentum of gain of speed of force in their life. It's hard to stop you. You're not going to fall. You're not about shit caught up on higher. Though you may come down. That's why I said a, 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 a man that falls will get back up. Are you hearing me? A righteous man that falls get back up. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Watch this. The amount of momentum that an object had has is dependent upon two variables. How much is moving? That's why everybody that's linked with me, you can't be sitting somewhere in the corner. Because we are in motion. We are moving. Are you hearing me? God has caused our assignment, glory to God, to get enlarged. God is causing us, glory to God, because we're in motion. And therefore, He has caused the momentum to gain speed. So, they, watch this. How much is moving? Two variables. How much is moving? And how fast are you moving? Are you hearing me? You're not a turtle. You're not a turtle. So, get up and let's put some mm to your moving. You're not a turtle. So, quit being slow. Because if Proverbs got your back. A slow person, a person that's sluggish, come on, my God from Zion, you're not going to get anything. As a matter of fact, he says in the book of Proverbs, turn and check out the ant. 
Look what the ant is doing. Look how the ant is diligently moving. Yes, I know it's ain't working, but move it. Diligently move it. Are you hearing me? So everybody in that clan, C-L-A-N, called ants, are moving, and everybody moving the same way. So watch this now. Momentum depends upon the variable mass and velocity. Are you hearing me? Mass and velocity. To gain momentum in our lives, or whatever, we need confidence who we are in Christ. A lot of us, a lot of us are not confident who we are in Christ because we're too busy trying to be like somebody else and we have not found out who we are in Christ. So if you can't find out who you are in Christ, then you're not moving because you're standing there and you say, okay, I want to be like that one. Okay, I want to be like that one. You know, nope, nope, I want to be, nope, I want to be, uh, no. and you still standing there while you're looking at everybody else going past. Because you're trying to figure out which one you want to be like. No, you and I must be like Christ. Are you hearing me? So you and I must find confidence. Those that have momentum, first of all, you must have confidence in who you are. That's some good stuff right there. You must have confidence in who you are. Watch Jonah chapter 3 verse 3 and 4. Jonah chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 says, Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days. Of three days. We know the story of Jonah. I'm not here to teach you on Jonah, but I'm giving you some scriptures to let you know that the momentum of gaining the speed is in the word of God. Jonah did what he did. We're not here for Jonah, but I just need you to see this part of Jonah. Jonah had an assignment. Jonah wanted to go left field, and God set up a well and slapped him in the well, and he guess what? He was sitting there in the well. He was being still because he wouldn't do what God told him to do. He's going to go another way. He's going to move another way. No, God had to turn him back around, detour him. Are you hearing me? And cause him to realize that the Lord has given him an assignment and he needs to be what? In motion and moving the right way. So now watch this. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days. Where he was, it was going to take him three days. Okay? A three day journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city in a day's journey. That's momentum. Did you hear that? When he wanted to go left field, God put him in a situation to cause him, you need to wake up. I, the Lord, said the Lord, has given you assignment. And you trying to mope around here. And you got, woe is me. Don't nobody like me. Don't nobody want to help me. Why is all this stuff befalling me? And God said, I'm a, you know what? You get ready to realize that I want you to go forward. And on both sides. The circumstance was not to come to make you sit still. The circumstance was to put fuel upon you, glory to God, for you to keep crying out to the Lord, keep studying your word, and keep moving until God give you a new assignment, until God tell you to do something different. But you sat in a wallow of, of crying, my God, crying tears, and saying, whoa, it's me. Jonah did a three-day journey in one day. That was momentum. He gained speed, okay? First Kings chapter 18 and verse 46 and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he gained up his and he girded up his loins and ran that was momentum before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Did you see that? You know that story. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Okay, he tells Ahab, you need to go ahead, finish eating, get finished drinking because everything has shifted now. And then you need to get up and you need to hurry up so the rain won't catch you. That was good right there. So here it is, Ahab, glory to God, then already went before. Come on, he ate, he drank, and now he's on his little chariot. And he's going now, trying to go on down before the rain catch him. The Bible said that here it is, Elijah, the hand of the Lord came on Elijah and caused the momentum of him to run. And he ran right past Ahab. So what am I saying right there in that scripture? The hand of the Lord is going to come upon you. The hand of the Lord is going to I'll come up on the, my God, your deliverance, your breakthrough, your healing, your prosperity, whatever it is you've been believing God for, the hand of the Lord is getting ready to come up on it and cause momentum. Are you hearing me? And that's why I said, can you handle it? Can you keep up with it? 
Listen, I love me some uh, Lucia Ball. That's my girl. That's my girl. I love the way she dressed. I love that era. She is so funny. But there's one of her her uh, uh, clippings that her and her friend is in this this candy shop. They're working, and they're on this the, the, the line, and the belt has the product on it. It's the candy or, or the cherries or whatever it is. And at first, it's going slow. They said, "Oh, we got this," and so they were doing what it is they were supposed to do. All of a sudden, it starts speeding up momentum. Why? Because it was already in motion. God is not going to give you no momentum pressures one and you just sitting there talking about what's up oh my God somebody come and help a sister somebody come and help a brother no and so the candy the, 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 the fruit whatever it is was on this belt on this line started off slow so they was like yeah we got this you know putting in wherever they supposed to put it all of a sudden the belt the belt start getting momentum and so oh, okay we got to move a little faster all of a sudden they start going a little fast oh. <laughs> they start you know doing it again and it got to real speed they couldn't handle all of it so what they start doing put some in their mouth put in their clothes it was just so funny i like me some lucille ball don't don't shoot her sister down i like the way she dressed and i like i like how she make you laugh but you got to understand that the momentum of this belt was going so fast that her and her friend couldn't keep up that's why i'm asking you a question can you handle it can you handle what the momentum god is getting ready to put upon your life can you handle the blessing as td jake says can you handle can you stand to be blessed but i'm asking you can you handle the momentum can you handle the momentum of the gain of speed of what god is about to do for you yes precious you want to be healed yes precious you want to break through yes precious you want a door to open yes precious you want the opportunity but it's going to come it's going to happen but it's going to come and happen with momentum it's going to come and happen with your speed being gained so i want to ask a question again can you handle it? So the Bible said the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and caused him to gird up his loins and run fast past Ahab. Ahab was on the horse. Ahab was in the chariot. He was on feet. But yet the hand of the Lord. So the hand of the Lord, when I begin to open up my mouth and begin to pray, is going to come upon you. It's going to come upon your ministry. Your business, your clientele, your finances, are you hearing me? Your marriage, are you listening? My God from Zion, even healing, recovering, you're recovering, glory to God, of the surgery. You're recovering, glory to God, of the loss. It's getting ready to start. My God having a momentum, and God is saying, can you handle what I'm about to do for you? My God, that was good right there. Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, verse 22, and accept those days should be shortened. Here is Jesus saying, except those days be shortened. When days are shortened, my God, the day have gone by fast. And then you up in the next morning. The days have gone by fast and you up the next morning. You see what I'm saying? Everything going, fa going faster because the days are being shortened. Are you hearing me? Because the momentum has sped up. The momentum of our life has sped up. Though the days are being shortened because what we are going through, God is saying, glory to God, He doesn't want us to stay in that circumstance a long time. Are you hearing me? What you are facing, what you are going through, my God, He doesn't want you or I to stay in that circumstance for a long time so he has to shorten the days because of the elect because if it, if it stay long my god we won't make it because it's too much are you hearing me and god knows that so he has to shorten the days when he shorten the days momentum of our life so we're not gonna stay in that situation for a long time a lot of us are staying in a place that the enemy has already left a lot of us are staying in a place glory to god that listen it ain't even doing that uh, my god how can i say this see i'm feeling so i'm just out there this morning glory to god some of us are in situations that say we in it and we already out of it some of us are still saying oh my body is racked with pain but god did not already healed you well it's just a mind thing it's just a mind thing let me say this. I'm going to help about some of us. i help about five of us. Glory to God. My father, which has gone on to be with the Lord. Glory to God. He had an aneurysm. And, and he was sick. But yet still God healed him. Glory to God. And it caused him to be able to walk again. He still had a limb. And God told me that he would, he would have, he, if he would have, glory to God, really believed God and did what God told him to do. He was going to totally walk like he used to. But glory to God, his faith wasn't there. But he still was walking. But he was on a cane. Well, my father, glory to God, uh, 
will always want some Tylenol, 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 because he realized that Tylenol, glory to God, so he thought that the Tylenol was causing the pain to be gone. Well, the pain was already gone, but his mind had already connected to the Tylenol to say that when you take the Tylenol, the pain in your body is going to be gone, but the pain was already gone. And so I said, God, what am I to do? Because he cannot keep taking these Tylenols like this. Guess what the Lord told me to do? Go get some baby aspirins. Yes, that's what he told me. Get some baby aspirins and pull in a Tylenol bottle. So while my father thought he was taking Tylenol because it was in his mind, he was already healed. He didn't have no pain. But the mind, my God was telling him, you got pain. So grab the Tylenol. So when he grabbed the Tylenol, he was grabbing baby. Baby. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So what am I saying to you? You already out of that situation, but your mind is telling you you still in it. Your mind is telling you you still broke. Your mind is telling you, glory to God, you still this, you still that. Your mind, the enemy gone. But your mind is telling you. Are you hearing me? He says, so I got to shorten the days. I got to shorten the days and bring y'all out of it quickly. Bring you out of the storm quickly. Bring you out of bondage quickly. Bring you out of frustration quickly. Are you hearing me? Oh, precious, I'm getting ready to pray, but I need you to see it in the word. It's in the word. Glory to God. So he said, except I do except I shorten the days, we're not gonna make it. The elect is not gonna make it. Except I shorten the days and cause them to come on through. Come on through that problem quickly. The momentum, speed it up. Echo. We don't have time to be like the children of Israel and keep going around a mountain for 40 years when it should have been three days. Are you hearing me? So he said, I got to shorten the days and cause that momentum of them to come up out of that situation. My God from Zechariah, shut down. Glory to God. Because if he don't, all of us, even his elect, glory to God, wouldn't make it through. So he shortened the days. And that's why I said, my God, where did they go? Where did they go? My God, we already getting ready to go to the next day. Because the momentum, the momentum, the momentum has sped up. And it's in the book. It's Matthew. I just read it. Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. Are you hearing me? So now watch Isaiah. Here we go. Here we go. Glory to God. Are y'all okay out there? It's all well. We getting ready to pray. What are we getting ready to pray? The Spirit of God, the hand of God, is getting ready to come up on you and cause momentum. You getting ready to get momentum. I see it. The glory of the Lord is in this place. Are you hearing me? Watch here. Watch the scripture. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 3 says it like this. And I went unto... I went on to the prophetess, and she conceived and bare a son. Then said the Lord to me, Call his name Mel Hashela Bass. You know, them names back then was hard to say. See, JC and TJ, that's that's real easy. Pam and Larry, that's real easy. But but this this name right here, uh uh Mayor Shella Bass. This is what the Lord told Isaiah the prophet to tell the prophetess to call her son. But well, what does that name mean? That name means speed. That name means momentum. The son that you're having, that you conceive, I want you to call him speed. Yes, it says male, you know, what the scripture says that name is, but it means speed. Are you hearing me? Speed to spoil or hurry to the, to the plunder. Speed to what it is. Speed to your blessing. Speed to your breakthrough. Are you hearing me? And so the Lord is saying, glory to God, call today momentum. Call today. Speed up. That's what he said. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? My God from Zion, Genesis 24 and verse 12 says it like this. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send, send me good speed today and, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. He said, give me momentum in this assignment. Show me, he said, he said, send me good speed. That's momentum. Who is this? Eleazar. Because he was on assignment for Abraham for his son Isaac. Are you hearing me? He left, can I say it like this? He left Wednesday on the assignment. 
but he turned around and did a turnaround. So therefore God answered him, get, brought the connection just like that, and the next day he was on his way back. God gave him good speed. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I have to take my time to give you the scriptures and then I'm going to pray. Are you hearing me? Because it's in the scripture. My God, momentum for your life. Fill in the blank. Momentum. You're gaining, but can you handle the momentum? My God, Eliezer said to the Lord, give me good speed today. Hallelujah. That I will be able to complete the assignment. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. My God from Zion. Hallelujah. He says. He says. Glory to God. He says. And they did eat and drink. This is verse 54. And they did eat and drink. He and the men that were with him. And tarried all night. You see that? tarried all night and they rose up in the morning did you see that and he said send me away unto my master did you see that he was letting us know i just got here but god did not already did it because of the momentum because he asked god to give him a good speed today don't let this tarry don't let this be drawn out come on somebody somebody should be shouting me down about right there Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord had prospered my way. Send me away that I may go to my master. Seeing that the Lord has prospered my way, don't hinder me. Don't stand in my way. Don't come trying to speak in my ears and talk about you going too fast. Oh, I, I, I don't think you need to be doing this. Well, you need to slow down. You really not. No, 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 no. Because I realize that, see, God is going to strengthen my body. He already done told me, so I got my mindset ready. I got my physical mind ready. I'm eating right. I'm thinking right. I got the right atmosphere. I got the right people around me that is speaking the right things. Their heart is right. Their motives is right. Come on. But you're going to have people that is going to try to hinder Glory to God, the momentum. But here it is. He said, get out of my way. Don't hinder me. Seeing that the Lord has prospered my way. Seeing that we already completed. Seeing that we already got it. Are you hearing me? Because of the momentum. The momentum. Are you hearing me? And as we begin to pray, as we begin to pray, it's in the word, precious. It's settled with Vanessa. It's in the word. It's settled with Apostle Jackson. It's in the word. Glory to God. Amos chapter 9 and verse 13 says it like this. Behold, that means insight. The days come. Days is plural. Are you hearing me? Come. That means seven days come in one day. Seven days come in one day. Seven days come in one day. Behold, the days come. Did you hear me? The days come, said the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of the grapes him that soweth seed, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and the hills shall melt. In other words, the Lord is saying, those that are breaking ground, your seed is going to go on the ground and bring forth a harvest. Before you can even gather the harvest, you're going to already be breaking ground again. You're going to already be breaking ground again. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. You're going to already be breaking ground. Because the momentum, because of what God is saying, you and I have to realize that God is speaking to our season. He is speaking to us. And if he's speaking to us, we need to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. And so as I begin to get ready to pray, I need you to understand when I pray, the hand of the Lord is going to come on you. The hand of the Lord is going to come and cause the momentum, glory to God, to come to your life. Are you hearing me? Lord have mercy. Glory to God. How da 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 the Oshaya. Glory to God. How da 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 the Oshaya. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Yes, Lord, I praise you. Yes, Lord, I glorify you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Because it is so. Because it is so. God, I thank you. 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My God.